Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some rainbow high news to talk about. We have our very first full unboxed look at one of the new Series 6 Slime Core dolls and we also have the full reveal of the Sunny Swimming Style doll. So stay tuned and let's get into it. First up, actually we have a surprise, uh, surprise for me actually, the we have a first listing for one of these new items up already on the Elf Surprise website. We have a listing already here for the new fashion packs um so that means that the other listings for the other actual you know core dolls will pop up very soon as well uh so the listing here again is for the fashion packs uh it retails for 7.99 um and apparently i guess if you order one of these uh it'll be randomized as to which one you actually get so that's a little bit of a bummer because you won't be actually able to pick out the one you want specifically so that's weird um because you are able to see what you're getting like packaging wise but like on the actual website as it doesn't allow you to choose which one to get specifically so um that's yeah odd uh but yeah seven uh, eight bucks basically and uh, again if you really want to get the fashion packs early then uh go check it out at losurprise.com then here we have the reveal for sunny from the swimming style budget uh beach themed uh line now initially we thought that these were gonna cost 12.99 so 13 bucks but now uh we i guess we got an update on the actual listing and now they will retail at 14.99 so they will now cost 15 bucks so um that is uh, so like there's mj is so sly like they they're they think no one's gonna notice but they're so sneaky they hike up those prices <laughs> when no one's looking um and they make it more expensive like that's insane and these are budget dolls and 15 is still a good price i guess uh it really depends on how much you like these to begin with but um it just yeah it doesn't help it's like they're making it even harder on this on themselves to make to make anyone want to buy these dolls because like they're making them even more expensive now like what come on now mj come on <laughs> um but yeah i mean they, they are cute so here is sunny um and she yeah i mean she's she's cute like i'm not gonna lie she's she's really cute but i do wonder how the bangs will actually turn out you know when they're when when we see like sunny on on shelf like her bangs will they be all messy like kim's or will they be um better executed so i do wonder like what situation that will be like uh with her bangs her hairstyle will it be heavily gelled we all know how mj loves to gel uh straight hair uh to the heavens you know <laughs> so let's see um but yeah the face screening is uh very simple but i do like the red lipstick uh the sunglasses initially i thought were like sunflower themed but um or like they daisy themed uh but actually those are pearls like um colored so that's interesting i don't know i cannot tell if that's a new mold for the sunglasses or not but they look really fun um they actually might be maybe from an omg doll <laughs> I think I don't know, um, or maybe we're very similar to one that I uh, am remembering of. Uh, and then she also has a purse that's like a fish shape. Um, and then we have also the pair of you know a gummy looking shoes. They're really cute. And then her bathing suit is a one piece here um, with a little sunflower or I guess like sun motif on the one side. It looks like it's even like embroidered or like stitched on. Um, so that's a good detail. That's a that's a nice detail. I appreciate that. Um, and then she also has that like uh, you know big fabric piece uh, with which you're supposed to um, combine and mix and match a ton of different okay, looks. So so we're going to be breaking down the review by Zombrix Corn, uh, you know, via pictures here. Uh, be sure to check out his full review, you know, on his channel. And I, I watched it. It was really funny um, and concise, very snappy as always. Uh, amazing review, Jay. Um, but yeah, so here we have the box. So very simple. We know how the box looks like. Here is the back, just a good overview shot. Um, here's the barcode in case you were wondering. And then here is a um, close-up look at skylar and um the studio skylar doll which uh he's going to be using in the video to compare the two uh here she is unboxed um and it is weird how she looks light-skinned like she looks whitewashed like she she does but we know that she's not because we saw comparison you know so we know that she has the same skin tone um but it looks like she's whitewashed but she's not so that's weird um i think maybe like the hue is off maybe like the new skin tone for her is like warmer and therefore also seems like a little bit lighter i don't know i think the older one uh is a little bit you can see it has more of like a yellow undertone and this one's more of like a like a pink 
undertone, right? Like I think it, there's like a a difference, a, a very slight, but um, definitely like it just feels like this one's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so uh, here's Skylar. She comes with a stand, uh, the normal one that we always have so far, which is great. And we have a new comb, actually. This one's uh, new because it's also, uh, it doubles as a spoon to, you know, mix the slime. Because of course, don't forget, we're getting slimed. <laughs> So we're gonna see how that works out. Um, then we have also the bag here that's a new mold where you can actually open it up fully. So you can also put the slime in here, uh, fill the bag up with the slime so it has like a different um, uh, look. But as we'll get to that later, uh, we'll find out that looks actually really bad. So, <laughs> and then we also have the pet here, Blueberry. Um, and uh, you can also put the slime in the pet's head. Uh, so you, you be head the pet and then that's where you put the slime in that way so that's a little bit yeah that's how you do it <laughs> now we have the crystal shaker which is where you actually um you know uh shake the slime and prepare it uh so that's really fun um and then uh here is skylar close up and she has a high ponytail the hair overall is much more of like a lighter mix than usual you know usually skylar has like a darker mix of blues but here it's much lighter so um but yeah at least it seems the hair type is still nylon thank god so it's the same hair type as usual um it's not poly it's still the same um and then we have a very good close-up here of the glitter on the face which uh again we we know for a fact uh claudina tried to you know wipe it off with soap and like with a like a um with a toothbrush and it wasn't it didn't really go away easily um and the glitter is not embedded into the into the you know skin uh, like it's not part of the mold but um it is like glued on like it's not supposed to come off easily so um that is not good jay said something like um it looks like skylar just played with a lot of glitter and uh it got messy or something and i agree because it really looks just like she looks like she's been played with with all this glitter um so yeah it looks bad i mean to me it looks bad maybe you like the glitter um and maybe maybe most kids will like the glitter on the face uh but i think if they were gonna do the glitter and maybe do it more concise more on specific spots because like this is just random like it doesn't even look good like this way um if they were trying to go for like a look it doesn't look like a look it looks um bad <laughs> But um yeah, it's not easily removable, removable unfortunately, and um it just it looks a little bit yeah tacky. Uh so but the makeup is also very bright, very glittery. Uh the eyebrows are like um kind of like faded almost. Um and it's definitely interesting to see how um it really changes her appearance because the actual you know head mold is the same from the original series one. So that's the same head mold. Uh it's just the makeup that's changed the screening here. So the outfit, uh, the tank top, the, well, the crop, mm, the crop top, yeah. Uh, it's really cute, uh, Jay agrees, because uh, it, it's like a really nice ombre fade, and we have the magic logo in the middle. Um, it's a really nice touch, I think, and a jacket is vinyl, and you can, you can bend the, um, you know, you can pose her with the jacket on, unlike with Amaya from series one. So that's a good, that's a good, you know, addition, thank God at least. Um, and then we have the, the skirt, which has actual belt loops and also real working pockets in the front and in the back. So we love to see that detail at least. <laughs> and then the shoes are the same like series one, I believe, but they are modified um, so that you can take off the bottom here and then you can um, put in the slime that way. So that's how it works. And then we have a better close-up look here at the, you know, thigh articulation where it used to be. Now it is no longer there. And uh, again, also no, we also are no longer getting the wrist articulation. So that's also gone. Um, now Jay uh, went on to prepare the slime. So basically you open up the crystal, you pour in the powder, and then you um, pour in some water and then you shake it up. Um, you close it back up and you add glitter if you want to after the 50 minutes of waiting for it to harden uh, so you you can add glitter after it's done or you can leave it off it does get messy of course if you add glitter so beware um and then you know you mix it around again and then voila there you have your homemade slime um and there you go it's very messy as you can see with the fingers you know like it, the glitter gets everywhere but that's just how it is and here's one of the ways where you can use the slime you can pop up the head of the pet and you can stick the slime into the head and then close it back up and then it just looks like a different um 
shade of blue instead of like before uh, before it was like this and now it's like this it's just like a darker blue um, so that's one way you can use the slime and then another way is to pack it into the um, bag here and then to close it back up um, and <laughs> and Jay since uh, Jay said something like um, it looks like a turd <laughs> in the back so yeah it does look really um sus uh so it doesn't look amazing really uh it, it's fine if i guess if you filled it up more it wouldn't look as bad but um yeah it looks a little bit suspicious it doesn't look amazing it looks uh not very fashionable to me at least <laughs> so it looks horrible um and then the last way you can use the slime is by using it in shoes so um you stuff it in the sole and then you close it back up and then you can see here, uh, it will overflow a little bit because it's you know you really only uh, you're really only able to put a little bit of slime because of you know the actual capacity. Uh, it's not a lot of space you know to hold the slime there, so it does overflow if you're not careful. Um, and then here's what it looks like when it's all closed up. It looks, I mean, it looks fine. Like it doesn't look bad. It looks cute, definitely with the glitter. Um, but you also got to keep in mind. Um, I actually didn't even think of this that um, over time because slime is, I guess, like it has a humid consistency. Um, it could create mold or something so uh you better not keep the slime in these uh in, in these um in the shoes or in the purse or in the pet or for like a long period of time because if you do then it might create mold or something so um that's what jay said and i'm, I'm like oh yeah i didn't think of that so that's yeah you know that that's a genuine concern so uh keep that in mind but it looks fine you know for the time being yeah and then like after everything we just saw like i think it really like the, the, the doll is fine like now seeing the slime in action and like how you're supposed to use it um the slime pad what she comes with uh for 24.99 it's just yeah it really seems like because of like the lack of articulation the focus more being on gimmicks and slime instead of fashion now um it really does seem like you know uh rainbow high is kind of gonna lose like majority of the adult doll collectors because i don't think a lot of adult collectors will be into the slime gimmick um and also just the lack of articulation the you know uh lack of quality i mean it's still there but it's like less of and it's really like less fashion focused and more you know slime and gimmick um and it's just it's not the same it's really not the same so um it really shows here i think it could bother a lot of adult doll collectors but um jay also pointed out that you know i think kids will still maybe you know be into these dolls uh you know they are now four plus instead of six plus uh on the packaging so that's also interesting so yeah i think overall it really comes down to adult doll collectors uh but i think kids could be they're they're going to be more likely to be into these dolls if they were collecting them already uh yeah i'm not sure i i'm i'm gonna be honest i think it, i'm tempted to get one myself just to, just to really see like how they actually feel like do they feel hollow do they feel the same um what's the slime actually like how are the pets like i just want to see how it actually is um but i guess it really depends on that experience to see if i will keep buying uh at least these kind of rainbow high dolls that include the slime and stuff because um yeah that's scary i i don't know like depending on if i like them or not like it's i might not keep buying rainbow high oh my god that's like heartbreaking to say because like that's that's my thing it's i have it's it's my it's what i've been doing so it's like what i'm just i'm just gonna stop now because because of some slime and stuff so i don't know i, I don't want to give up easily um i'm gonna see when they do release if whenever they release here in europe um next year i want to try to get one at least and see like okay fine let's see how it actually is in person um and then from there on out i'll see if i'll keep buying rainbow heidels or not it really depends again on like you know how other dolls will also look like because like these are the core dolls they have the slime and then we have the junior high dolls they do not have slime then we have the swim dolls but they're budget dolls so obviously they wouldn't have the slime so i wonder how much the slime will really will really appear in these new future lines like will slime be included with every doll line that's like 24.99 or will it just be like the core series and then what does that mean for like the next core series after this you know original redo of the lineup you know like are we getting a brand new 
um, slate of characters? Or are we getting series two characters brought back here just with the slime? So I have a lot of questions, but um, yeah, I'm I'm curious. I I mean, I'm, I'm still like, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Obviously, we all are. Um, but I, I definitely feel like it's something different to see them in person and um, to see the quality in person um because overall like it, it's it's disappointing and you know i don't really have too much hope but still like it could change my opinion in person and um yeah i'm just trying to be i'm just trying to be i'm, try I'm trying to be hopeful oh my gosh but the glitter on the face really just feels so tacky to me and so unnecessary so random you know really much like this uh, rebrand uh, overall but, <laughs> but yeah um anyways uh, remember to watch jay's zombie x corn's review on skylar up now on his channel um and yeah otherwise i hope y'all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to um and so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the dolty you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses